yo, what up, hype man? It's Boy Swell 1090 back on the channel again today for you guys with some more of that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we are getting to the point to where we find out that Cell has broke, has come back in time, uh, uh, and uh, found where 17 18 are for him to be able to turn to a perfect form. Now, I still got a lot of gameplay left, and I ain't got a lot of time left uh, to put it in, because uh, I'm waiting on that Final Fantasy VII remake to come through, so I got to get some heck of game time in. But guys, without further ado and prolonging this intro, we're about to ride into it. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Let's ride. Oh. Alright, head toward West City on the world map. All right. I always do that for some reason. Huh? Crap. This isn't where we're supposed to go. All right. Let's see where we go. All right, so let's roll on over here a little quick. Let's see what this is. It's completely intact. It's strange to see it like this. They look weak. No cause for concern. Any day now. I the far daggum fly right there. It should be in this area. Let's start looking. Trunks, that's it over there, isn't it? Hi, Bulma! Hey, you're both here. So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What's this? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it... doing in the time machine? This is... some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future, three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this... It's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. <sighs> Wait, what's that? What's what? Oh, it's just... I was wondering what that is. Exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I bet that's 
what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then, and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, hey, you guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. My... What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. Down in both amazement and fear, as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-Android Fiend from the Future I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. All right, so we gotta go to look at old comic. Is there anything? Hold on, before I do that, let's see if there's anything around here. I hope you're ready for this, Kami. I can use. Of course, there's just an orb, but other than that, no, I think so. All right, so yeah. Kami. I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right, then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. For I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion. The resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? What do you mean? Wait, is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. What? I shall ask you once more, Piccolo. 
Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? Good point. Losing the Dragon Balls is no small matter. Then, perhaps now is not the right time. No, that's not what I'm saying. Then do elaborate, please. <laughs> Once we merge... ...the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the Compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me! I'm going to be the base. Got Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Farewell, Kami. Please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right. I'm off. Piccolo's true to make infusion formation is now available. I wonder what that is. Ginger Town. I head toward Ginger Town. But before I do that, guess what we got? We got us a sub story. We got some sub story in Ginger Town, guys. So we're good. This thing that's killing all these people. Who or what could possibly be? So, what is this, I wonder? Oh, no, not these It's weird to be reunited with my other half. Hmm. Now then, where could it be? Let's I'm see. quite famished. Hey! What are you two doing here? Huh? Oh. Look, I'll cut straight to the point. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave this place. Wow. Do you happen to be an Earthling? Yep. Oh my, the people here are green as well? Hmm. Do your ears not work or something? I told you to get out of here. Mm. We just arrived on this planet. <laughs> They're not exactly a listening type, are they? Just who are you two anyway? 
Oh, we're just tourists. Filthy rich tourists, that is. <laughs> We've come here to taste some of the planet's del delicacies. Yeah? We're lucky we happened to meet you. Would you be willing to show us around? <laughs> Not a chance. There's a monster in the area. I'm here to hunt it down and exterminate it. <laughs> that's it? That, that's, what, that's what we've come here for? Oh. <laughs> what? Yes. That's right. We would love to die on that monster. <laughs> you want to eat it? Oh, wow! Oh, don't you earthlings eat it? <laughs> what a waste. It's surprisingly delicious. It is? Oh, my. It must be quite embarrassing for you to live on Earth and not know how, and not know the taste of durasaurs. Durasaurs? Durasaurs. Yes. It, it, is, isn't the monster you're after a durasaurus? Yeah. It's a monster that can only be found here on Earth. It's one of the rarest dinosaurs in existence. We hear that its tail meat is simply to die for. Hmm. A dinosaur, huh? Looks like we're after two completely different monsters. Anyway, you're going to have to save your little sightseeing trip for another time. It's too dangerous here. Hmm. Oh, that's a real shame. I guess we'll go looking for Durasaurus on our own, then. Hmm. Come again? <laughs> we traveled a great deal to come to come here to Earth. We simply must eat that monster. <laughs> you would you, you needn't worry, Earthling. You may fear the beast, but we are seasoned travelers. We can handle it. <laughs> Idiots. If you don't do something, these clowns are going to get themselves killed. If I don't do something. An alien couple have come to Earth and are looking to feast on a dangerous monster, but hey, but if left alone, they might be the ones feasting on. Alright. Yeah. Close encounters with a troublesome time. Give me a break. I'd better help them. Huh? What's that now? Hey. I'm saying I'll find a dirt source meat for you. Hey. Oh my, will you? <laughs> Earthlings sure are friendly folk. <laughs> Just stay here and wait until I get back, got it? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll wait. Yep. According to our radar, you should find a deer source a little southeast of here. Of course, it's a wild animal. They're probably wanting to stay in one place. Okay, got it. Probably the Central Plains is a is the dinosaur near where we fought androids in 19 and 20. Okay, so the Central Plains. Hmm. There aren't too many people left in or around Gingertown. Damn monster. Huh. All right. Gizzard Wasteland. All right, so there it is. Oh, wow, I ain't never seen one of those before. Yeah. You can't read me. This will end it. This will end it. This will end it. This will end it. They were acting. They still let me beat you. If only I'd known about this freak sooner, I could have done something. You're not ever gonna reach me, so let me beat you. Take it. God dang it. Thank you. You got a dear source tell me. Huh. I gotta get these two to leave. Hey! There you are. You two proving to be a real pain, you know that? <laughs> now, come on, calm down. Come now. It's not good for your health to be so angry. <laughs> Shut up. Give me a, a break. Force soldier? It's just one thing after another, isn't it? What? Did you say freezer force? How do you know about the force? 
<laughs> Look, I've got enough pains in the uh, pains in the butt to deal with, so I'm just gonna blow you away. All right. Whoa, that was easy. Good beyond weak. Even a free, even a freezer for a soldier. Why'd you even join? Wait, what? I'm not a freezer for a soldier anymore. What? <laughs> I've I've given that up. I've given that life, I've given up that life to do what I really love. Be a galactic travel guide. The name's Malone. Nice to meet you. Galactic travel guide. Then what's what's with the freezer force uniform? Oh, oh well, it's just it's got its perks. For starters, people usually leave me alone if they see me wearing it. You honestly think I'm buying this crap? <laughs> He's telling the truth, Earthling. Yes. Mr. Malone here is a personal travel guide. Yeah. See what I tell you? I just giving them a hard time earlier for wandering off. <sighs> How did I get roped into this mess with you clowns? But yeah, if it weren't for these two, I would have been blown to bits when them exploded. <sighs> I was gonna return to base after that, but since Lord Freezer was done in, I had no job to go to go back to. I was always more of a foodie than a fighter anyway, so I decided to introduce travelers to the amazing dishes of the universe. Hmm. I see. Hey, you're in the making, aren't you? We are on Earth, right? <laughs> Relax, you're on Earth. I just happen to be in the making that lives here. Huh, <laughs> that's kind of confusing, but whatever. Wait, you brought you brought back some dirt source meat earlier, right? Hey. Yeah, the couple asked me to. They took it right out, right out of my hands. Huh? That's what I thought. I've been dying. I've, I've been dying to sink my teeth into some of that stuff. I figured I'd snag a taste for myself while showing the tourists around. I hear it's <laughs> the juiciest, most succulent meat you ever eat. <sighs> well, you're fresh out of luck there. <laughs> that really hit the spot. Oh. It was just as mouth-watering as we heard. I didn't think we'd end up eating it all in one sitting. What? You, you two ate all of it? Yep. Yes, it was fun, fantastic. Did you eat it raw? Yes. Of course. Quick and remove some of the meat's natural flavor. Hey. You guys are unbelievable. I want to try some of it. <laughs> so, Mr. Malone, where are we going next? Where are we going for the next delicacy on our culinary cruise? Let's I would love see. to try something sweet next. <sighs> I can't get through to you, can I? <laughs> Being a guy looks like a real pain. Yep. Off to the next planet. This is so exciting, dear. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I guess we can stop by Planet Yard Rat and try some, try their sweet potatoes. Wow. Oh, potatoes. How lovely. <laughs> Thank goodness we hired a food expert like you. All right. 